What's up YouTube? To be personal for you, and today I'll be uh, doing the Columbia TriStar VHS collection. One of the uh, first titles from Columbia Pictures is Macbeth, based from William Shakespeare's play. Released in 1971, theatrically. And I happened to acquire the tape in 2002. Well, technically it was schools until they lent it to me, since they have no VCRs. As of 2015. Here's the tape of it. The acting in the film is so real, it actually captures the true William Shakespeare spirit. The next film from 1981, Annie. Yep, how I love this film. Yep. I'm surprised it became, you know, a bit of a cult classic. Well, sort of. Based from the musical and the um, comic strip. Here's the uh, tape label. I'm surprised. This is one of the titles that's been released by a cinema club. One of the most rarest titles that has never been on this from the made from the company is Dirty Dancing. It was originally made by Thurston Pictures until it was acquired by Columbia TriStar and Arston in the 2000s, the early 2000s. It was made from 1987, the film. How I love the acting and how I love how the story actually went out. Here we go. One of the next titles from the uh, TriStar Tri Pictures rage is So I Married an Ex-Murderer, featuring Mike Myers, who's best known from Wayne's World, Austin Powers, and most recently after the film Shrek. I think that's pretty much inspired Mike Myers to do the role of the role of a title character. I love the humor in there. Here's the uh, tape as well as the inside sleeves. That's how the 90s looked back in the days. One of the next films made from the same company from TriStar, Philadelphia. Featuring Tom Hanks and Denzel Washington. Features two Academy Awards. I think this film should be recommended in schools because it actually features the topics of AIDS and homosexuality. You know, that's exactly the type of film I really would watch. I have to be more careful about AIDS. Here's the tape, as well as the very early old hologram. It features a customized case along with the guard panel. This is just a rental. The next film from the Columbia Pictures range is First Night. Featuring Sean Connery. One of the best actors who happened to best known as King Arthur himself. He truly catches the Arthurian legend. Here's the uh, tape of that. Very surprisingly, the original owner, the previous owner, happened to splice the tape after a little mishap prior to selling it. 
So whenever you come to come across a tape like this, be very careful of rewinding it. Next on the list is Jumanji, featuring the Robert Williams and released by TriStar Pictures. How I love the excitement. The most hilarious moments in there. When I saw the 2017 remake, it was really even funnier. Anyhow, here's the uh, tape. Despite the fact it has obviously gotten a reprint in the 1997, as you can see here from the inside sleeve. Next, from 1996, from the same company, the film, adapt the film adaptation Matilda. Yep, Danny DeVito put a lot of effort of directing the film, as well as starring as one of the uh, villains. How I love Mara Wilson's acting in there, along with Pam Ferris. Oh yeah, she was really the brilliant actor for the, the Trunch Bowl. Here's the inside tape. This was obviously a 2001 reprint. As you can see here. Here we go. Next up on the list is, from the same year, from Columbia Pictures, Fly Away Home, featuring Jeff Daniels. I think it pretty much touched the film. Me, yeah, I really, I was really touched. Anyhow, here's the tape, as well as the inside sleeve. Next up from 1996 is Jerry Maguire from TriStar Pictures. How I love Tom Cruise's acting in there as the title character. And well, along with Ree Zedweiler. Oh yeah, this is this is a really good film. Yeah. Cameron Crowe was definitely Cameron Crowe was definitely the best director. Here's the inside sleeve, and it was a reprint from 1998. Obviously, I don't know, but you never know when, or possibly the prior year to 1999. As you can see, the sort of altered inside sleeve. From 1997 from Columbia Pictures is Men in Black. Steven Spielberg wasn't involved of directing the film, despite his works from Jurassic Park, Hook, as well as, uh, let's see, uh, E.T. Nevertheless, it was actually very good. Good old take on science fictions. Here's the inside tape, along with a customized label and its case. From 1988, from TriStar Pictures, is Godzilla. 
It didn't turn out well at the box office, despite its great efforts. Either way, I really love the uh, monster in there. It's really fabulous. Here's the inside tape. It was released from uh, Cinema Club. From the same year, Madeline, from TriStar Pictures. How I love Francis McDormand's performance in there, along with Nigel Harolfrom and Hattie Jones. You know, it's a really good film. It actually uh, is a really good, good one. Now, before I actually show you the tape, promise you're not going to laugh. Oh no. See, here's a tape. Well, kind of. That was what, that was when I was about here, you know, five years old. Forgive me for doing this. Next up is The Bone Collector. Surprisingly, Universal Studios collaborated in that film. It was from 1999. I love Daniel, Daniel Denzel Washington and Angelina Joel's performance in there. Here's the uh, tape label of that. You may know if I'm going quick because I'm on the verge of doing this before the battery dies. Apologies for this. From the same year, Stuart Little. So you drink Michael J. Fox from the Back to the Future franchise. Yep, yeah, how I love the animation, the blend of the live action and the CGI. Oh yeah, it's really... F oh yeah, this is really hilarious. <laughs> yes. Here's the uh, tape, along with the inside sleeve. Next up, from 2002, Men in Black 2. Yep, the film is extremely hilarious. I really love it. All the while, yes. Here's the tape label of that, along with its n new hologram. Hmm. Odd. It doesn't usually blur that type of manner. My apologies, I just had to uh, delete some photographs in order to make room in the uh, memory card. Anyhow, let's take a look. Here comes Spider-Man. Does he swing from a web? Yes, he does whatever a spider can. Features the Green Goblin, featuring Tony Maguire. Here's the uh, tape of it, along with its hologram. Next up from the same year, immediately right after the release of Spider-Man is Stuart Little 2. 
the sequel to the first film from 1999. Oh yeah, the acting was really good. The animation is really still phenomenal. Here's the inside tape along with its label. Despite the fact it carries the carries the year old design. L O L. Well, that's the collection so far. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao.